Branding isn't just for products, small businesses, businesses, or companies. However, branding can be such a game changer for you if you are in a corporate career. And whether you're just starting to climb up that corporate career ladder or you are already in C-suite, you definitely want to know about your branding. Hi and welcome back. I'm Catherine Louise. I'm a business and mindset mentor and I help women becoming their most happiest and fulfilled self. And if this is something you're interested in, please make sure to subscribe or if you're listening to the audio of this right now, please make sure to follow on your most favorite podcast platform so you're not going to miss out any future episode. You have no idea how I have been looking forward to today's all new episode all about branding in your corporate career because while I have been personally studying branding not just for business but in general for the past I don't know, 10 years almost now and I have always been loving branding. I want to say it's one of my most favorite topics and just when I started implementing branding for my clients that I'm working with in corporate careers and saw how much of a game changer branding is in a corporate career and how you can specifically take action on certain steps for your branding in your corporate career. That was insane. Because all of us, we all do have a branding, whether we are aware of it or not, whether we consciously work on ourselves and our personal brandings as a person or not. So when we think about branding, what you probably think about first is the visual identity of branding. Because when we talk about marketing and branding, we tend to think about designs and advertisement and stuff like that, right? However, the visual identity of a brand is in fact only a small part of branding overall. Branding is first and foremost the emotional connection you want to create to your ICA. ICA is ideal client or customer avatar. That is like your perfect desired customer. After all, if you are aware of it or not, we do not purchase products. We actually buy the emotion, the feeling of what we want to feel like. If you hear this for the first time and just hear about the concept that people don't purchase products but emotions, that might be mind-blowing. However, hear me out. Just think about this example. Why do people purchase Mercedes's? By the way, I'm that's my hometown. Where Mercedes is coming from is my hometown. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> Anywho, why do people buy such expensive brand luxury cars over, let's say, a Honda? Or another great example, why do luxury designer brands, even during some of the world's biggest crisis and even economic crash, why do those brands still experience all-time sales and revenue highs? Why is that? People purchase emotions and not product. They first and foremost buy how they want to feel. So if you're not thinking about, okay, so how does my career in corporate relate to a designer luxury brand? Hear me out. <laughs> Whether you are aware of it or not, if you work together with people, no matter what kind of way, no matter if you're talking about in person or on business calls or Zoom calls, it really doesn't matter. If you are working with people, you will make them feel a certain kind of way. Or maybe even they tend to forget about you really quick. And guess what? That's a part of your branding then too. Your personal branding in your corporate career is how do people remember you? How do people feel about you? And yes, there are quite a few factors and how you can strategically work on that to make a lasting positive impression and really represent yourself in the way that you actually want to. Your branding is creating trust and credibility. 
So let's say, for instance, you are founding a startup and you are just about to head into seed funding, right? Your personal branding can make this whole process so much more easy. Working on your branding for you as a person is so incredibly powerful because you're working on your external impact. You actually also get the chance to really recreate yourself in the way you want to represent yourself in a way that you can really make sure people get to know you and understand you as the person that you actually are. I really want you to have fun with this process because not only does it really give you the opportunity to create your branding in the way that you actually want to be perceived. I've been working with so many of my clients now on their branding and the results in their careers is mind-blowing. Okay, so to begin with, there are four questions I really need you to ask yourself. How do you want to make people feel feel around you. Remember, this is more about emotions than products. So how do you want people to feel around you? For instance, I could imagine you would really want them to trust you. You would really want to come across as the expert of your field. Really take a moment to play around with this and just imagine how you will want to feel around yourself. Question number two, if they remember you, if they think of you, what are the top three things you want them to think about you? Question number three, what is supposed to be your message? And what I mean by that is, what do you want your impact to be? What is your value that you bring to the table in your career? Question number four, and this is specifically for you if you are a leader, what kind of leader do you want to be? How do you want to support your team? How do you want them to trust you? What kind of impact do you want to leave on the people you're working with? For the sake of this episode, we're going to keep it short and sweet. But really, those four questions are really the foundations of your branding. So you really want to make sure to take a little bit of extra time and and focus and reflect on those four questions. Just being aware of those four answers to the questions is really Just when you step into the room, you're going to radiate such a different kind of energy and people will already be attached to that. However, there are obviously a couple of other things that we can work on for your branding strategy, which number one, and you probably already guessed it, is your looks. (laughs) So obviously the clothes that you wear, the style that you have is Most of the times, the very first impressions people have from you, while it is definitely not recommendable to just go for something quote unquote safe so that everybody will kind of like you, it is really, really important, especially for your branding, for your persona that we're building here right now to express what you love. It is really so interesting how specifically women tend to let's say, play safe when it comes to their style, even if they're already in leading positions because they don't want to stand out. They want to play it safe. Maybe, you know, especially the higher you go up in your corporate career, you know, it, it, it kind of thins out. The higher you get in your career, the less women tend to be there, meaning the more men are there and you don't want to provoke or you don't want to just really cause any kind of attention. You know what I mean? I really want you to move away from this kind of thinking because it doesn't serve you whatsoever. Being expressive in your design, in the style that you wear and how you present your persona doesn't mean that you have to wear things just in order just to cause any attention. Wearing a style that presents yourself, your brand, because this is what it's all about, means you wearing things that you feel so good in. Just remember when you purchase something that you're really so excited about and just that feeling, how it feels like when you wear it for the first time, this is the kind of clothes you want to wear. If that means wearing a beautiful red like blazer and a beautiful long pink skirt to it. By the way, it's called color blocking. This is what I do today (laughs) in different terms though. Go ahead, do it. People will either love it or hate it. And honestly, that is nothing you have any kind of control over. 
And also, the beautiful thing is you have any kind of control over this. This is, again, not about being liked and accepted by everybody. This is about you presenting yourself and just knowing that by really being who you truly are is going to take you where you're supposed to be. So while not everybody might appreciate your style, there are going to be people who will particularly love your style. The other day I was at an event and a woman approached me for my bracelet and telling me how she's been looking for one of those for so long. And this was actually such an amazing conversation starter and we spoke for a long time and it was so interesting. So I really want to encourage you to feel comfortable and just be happy to present who you are. Another big one. And if you have been knowing me for a while, you already know I'm a big one when it comes to communication. I've been a communication expert. I've been studying communication since 2007. And also communication is a big part of your branding. How do you communicate? Are you polite? Are you frank? What kind of vocabulary do you use? And believe me, that really is such a big one. Are you a good listener? How do you talk to people on the phone or on Zoom calls? Communication is probably even a bigger component of your branding than style because especially when people don't see you and you just do business calls for example but they will definitely hear you and hear your persona. It is very important to be very specific and clear about how you want to come across to people who have never heard or seen you before. Be very particular specifically on your vocabulary and how you want to treat other people. So make sure to really invest your time on this one. Talking about your business cards. <laughs> I know I've been talking about this before but believe me this is so crucial, so do not underestimate your business cards. And no, I'm not kidding at this point. I remember very vividly, and I, would, I don't know how many times I've been sharing the story, but it's so true. In 2015, I've been at a fair, and I, re and I remember this one particularly, because I was grabbing in my bag, and there were like really a thousands. <laughs> I know this is a word, just imagine, a trillion of bus different business cards because that's what's happening when you're at a fair, right? And the moment I grabbed into my bag, I figured they are all feeling the same. Like I couldn't seem to touch just one business card that was different from the other ones. You better believe since 2015, your girl has thicker business cards than the rest in high gloss. So whenever you have a trillion of business cards in your pockets, you will definitely feel my business cards. Obviously, for those kind of business cards, you pay a bit extra. However, if I could just count the compliments I've gotten on my business cards it is so more than even worth it and it is automatically something people will remember you for. Also a big one and if you do not specifically like design whatever I highly recommend you working with a graphic designer on your business cards because believe me again it is so worth every single penny as it will stick with you for so long. Make sure you have really nice fonts think about do you want to use any color on your business cards or do you just want to go black and white and be really classy do you want to be timeless do you want to be chic do you want to be edgy do you want to be you know what do you want to represent especially in a corporate career please do never underestimate your personal business cards every single penny invested in this one going to be so worth it in the long run specifically. Branding as you might be able to tell is definitely one of my gems. I so love working with my clients on branding because again most people are not aware of the fact that they actually do represent themselves and that is a kind of branding. Most people are also not aware of the fact that this is like one of the greatest opportunities in order to leave an impression, in order to work on your career, that it actually is beneficial for you. So I truly hope more and more people will talk about branding in relation to corporate careers. 
If you have any more questions, if you are interested in working on your personal branding for your corporate career, let me know. Send me an email. You will find all of the infos down below. If you've been loving this episode, please make sure to leave it a five-star review on your most favorite podcast platform. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, please make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and for listening. And I'll talk to you next time.